So it seems a lot of people really like my top 10 videos, so I'm thinking of making this a very consistent series. In today's video, we will be going over my top 10 guns slash weapons from Resident Evil Village. If you haven't checked out the other ones, I would click the playlist link in the pinned comment. Also, if you guys do want to keep in touch with me and want to be updated on my video ideas and whatnot, be sure to follow me on my Twitter account. The link will be in the pinned comment as well. And now, let's get right into it. At the number 10 spot, I have the F2 rifle. This definitely reminds me of the RE4 bolt action rifle, but this has a full magazine clip instead. You can equip parts such as a high magnification scope, extended mag, and a cheek rest. Very powerful once maxed out, and is, I believe, the only sniper rifle in the game, which is very weird, but nonetheless a very cool gun to find and to use. At the number 9 spot, I have the grenade launcher. Very similar to Claire's grenade launcher in RE2 Remake and the Thumper in Call of Duty, this is quite the gun to use with infinite ammo. It's very fun to use and having explosive and flash rounds can lead to ultimate trolling and just a laid back fun experience if you don't want to sweat your ass off. At number 8, I have the M1911 handgun. Flashback from Call of Duty games, this gun holds a very special place in my heart. Once maxed out, the firing speed is absolutely insane. The extended mag is very crucial to get as this thing can eat a lot of ammo. It's just an amazingly designed handgun that gives me great flashbacks, kickass moments, and my main gun in Mercenaries. So I have used this gun quite a bit in this game. Number 7 is the Karambit Knife. Such a badass design for a knife and one of the more unique ones in the entire Resident Evil series. Stronger than the basic knife, this thing can be very good when it comes to damage. The animations Ethan and Chris get with this is very cool as well. And a part of me wished that I was able to get livery skins for the Karambit knife. Seeing a blue, red, or green Karambit knife like you see in CSGO would be really cool to see. Something I also do wish was the ability to discard the basic knife for the Karambit as well, but that's not a feature in this game sadly for some reason. At number 6 is the Dragoon Assault Rifle. Chris's main gun when you used him is badass. Essentially an AK-47 with a red dot scope, this gun packs absolute heat. From a nice reloading animation to the cool sound that this gun has when firing, I would 100% recommend this gun for your New Game Plus run for the story mode. A really fun gun to use and fits Chris to the fullest, but don't use it if you have this next gun in your disposal. At number 5 is the WCX. This is the perfect definition of an overpowered assault rifle. It costs a lot of money to max this thing out, but when you do, you might not ever use the Dragoon ever again, unless you feel bad for it. The scope is just massive and a little overkill on this gun. The extended mag gives it 80 bullets maxed out and it's just OP to use. You see why I put this in my top 5, it's just a great gun to use in general. Number 4 is the Stake Magnum. This is probably the coolest looking Magnum I've seen in a Resident Evil game and this looks like something straight out of a Terminator movie. This thing can fit almost 30 bullets with everything maxed out and is probably the most powerful gun in the entire game. That's all I really need to say. Number 3 is the hand cannon. This is a really interesting gun because you don't need magnum ammo to shoot this gun, but rifle bullets, strangely enough. This is the gun I use the most in my playthroughs and is very nice to use. A fast reloading animation and the design and style it has, it makes me feel like Arthur Morgan or John Marston. It's definitely a blast to use. At number 2 is the LZ Answerer, or the LZ Answerer. Why exactly? Well, it's because I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and this weapon would definitely appeal to the fanbase, and it appealed to me. I love the colors of this being red for increased attack power, green for healing once you strike an enemy, and blue I can't remember what that is for, so someone let me know in the comment section pretty please. I haven't had my own experience with this weapon sadly because I'm too lazy to complete mercenaries as it's really hard for me to do so for some reason but once the update comes out expect me to live stream some mercenaries for you guys to get this weapon finally. The honorable mentions are the SVG-12 shotgun and the V61 handgun that looks like a Walmart Tommy gun. And finally at the number one spot we got the Wolfsbane Magnum. Ever seen a gun so delicately designed with so much power? Well, look no further as the Wolfsbane is the perfect example of what I just said. It isn't more powerful than the stake and hand cannon, but the looks deceive the hell out of me. I still need to max this gun out, it's got some really cool equipment attachments like the extended capacity, but it costs a lot of money. 
I'm still surprised that this is the secret weapon of Moreau, since Moreau is a filthy ass fish, but you get what I mean. Either way, it's still a powerful gun, and it looks beautiful as hell. Anyways guys, that is my top 10 weapons slash guns from Ari Village. Feel free to comment your top 10, 5, or just your favorite gun in the game. If you want to see more of this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button as it helps this channel out very greatly. I hope everyone has themselves a good day, a good night, and a good sleep, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, and much love.